Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. Today we're gonna to be talking about ceiling lifts for your TV and what I went through on my journey to get to this lift here. So in my bedroom, the wall is 20 feet away and that's just too far away for even an 85 inch TV. It will just look too small. So I needed something more around the foot of the bed. So when we built the house, I framed with knowing that down the road I was gonna install a ceiling lift. I built my entire bedroom set. It's like a floating bed with nightstands and I've got a headboard with acoustic material so it's really nice and quiet. So I didn't wanna put a cabinet in front of it for the TV to come out. So in the ceiling is where it's going. So I went the cheap route. The build quality was a little bit lacking, but the main problem is while it would come down with no problem, whenever it went to go back up, it just wouldn't go up. I'd have to assist it half of the way. So I have to stand on a bench, help push it up, you know, as it's trying to go up. If I let go too soon, it beeps and it goes back into the alarm mode. But once it gets about halfway, we're going up. So, so I got online and started looking. So I really didn't want to look at those brands that cost a couple thousand dollars. I wanted to keep it reasonable. And I also, I needed something that would handle the weight of my TV with no problem. I have a 65 inch Sony OLED and I had to get an OLED because we're sitting a little bit off axis because we have a 10 foot ceiling. We tilted the TV down, but we're still not perfectly in line with it. We're down a little bit. So we were kind of forced to get an OLED in this case just because of the tall ceiling. But I needed something that could handle its 50 pound weight, which is not crazy. But I stumbled on TVLiftCabinet.com and found a ceiling lift that can handle 120 pounds. So of course that's well more, that's over double the weight of my TV. So it should be no problem whatsoever. So I reached out to them and here we are. Now, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link for the next video. The next video, we're actually gonna go up into the attic. We're going to swap the old mount for this mount, and I'm gonna show you how to mount it. How to tell if you can mount it, you know, by looking at the joist and the way they're run, looking at the size of the joist. And I'm gonna show you what I did. And also, I have spray foam insulation, so my attic is not really, it's kind of temperature controlled, but most of the time they're not. And even with mine being temperature controlled, you know, it's never hot or cold up there. It's just it's always comfortable. I still don't want all my air conditioning just going up there. So you have to have a way to insulate it, like basically build the little igloo or cabinet around it. So there's a very, very simple method that any DIYer can do. You can use a steak knife and foil tape that the HVAC industry uses to build this enclosure. So we're gonna look at that. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Once I make the second video, that video is going to be linked at the end of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have in the box now. FedEx did beat the box up a little bit, but everything is okay. I've already opened it up and looked at it. So let's go ahead and see what's in there. So as you can see, I've just been kind of playing with everything before I went over just so I could kind of explain it and have an idea what I'm talking about here. So you've got an angle bracket that actually slides in right here at this foot. And then you've got these two bolts that screw in. This way you can adjust it. So this plate goes on there and this is so you can attach like a piece of sheetrock or a piece of wood. So when the lift goes up, it'll completely seal that hole if that's what you want to do. So this would just screw onto there and then you can adjust the depth of it and tighten it down so it, it's perfectly aligned. This piece here actually goes over the motor. So I'm not sure if you actually have to have it, but we're gonna put it on. You use these screws here, they have a tapered head and they are, it's kind of a small Phillips. Okay, so this is what the TV is actually gonna to mount to. This side right here, the large flat side mounts to the back of the TV, you get both of them on. And then once this is all installed, you're gonna lift the TV up and you're going to hang it. Now it has a locking type mechanism. So you see how that slides out of the way. So you're just gonna push it back where it can roll right in and then close it up. And as you see, these do tilt quite a bit. So like in my room, we actually need our TV to tilt. And these are extremely solid. This is some very thick steel if you put you know, mounted a lot of, if you mounted a lot of TVs on a wall, when you see that, you know, this right here, you know, this is actually much thicker and stouter than what you normally see for a TV mount. So they do have some bolts right here where you can take these out and move them down. Like say your TV, you wanted it a little bit lower to the bottom. You could take these out, move them down and then put them back in. So slide that in. Then you've got these clips right here. So you put that little piece right there into this hole. You're gonna roll it over and then we're gonna put two little screws in there and that's gonna keep this from going anywhere. Now there are four small washers. You do need the washers for these. If not, it'll bottom out and won't actually be tight. So 
make sure you use those. Okay. All right, so these tubes are actually threaded on the end. There's four of these big, large bolts. So I'm assuming those go into the ends just to kind of clean it up. All right, so let's go ahead and check this lift out. The remote's very simple. It's got up, down, and stop, which is really all you need. So let's go ahead and bring it down from the ceiling. Of course, this is gonna be up in your attic. This whole assembly, your ceiling's gonna be here. Let's bring it right to the edge. So that edge is where our ceiling is. It's actually a very quiet lift. Uh, I've definitely heard noisier, and it's definitely faster than the one I've got. I think the one I've got moves like an inch a second. This was definitely faster than that. All right. So now let's bring it back up into the ceiling. And of course we can stop it anywhere. Go back down, come up. Okay, now of course, this little box right here is what you would mount in your attic and plug into your outlet. And we're gonna go over that in the next video as well. But it also has three outlets built into it, so which is nice, that way you can plug your TV into it. It's got a maximum current rating of five amps, which is plenty for a TV. Uh, a plasma, you might have to look at that because plasmas do, they get pretty hot. You also have a contact closure right here. Looks like a 2.5 millimeter jack. So that'll be for options and other things that this box can do with its contact that's inside of it. But yeah, it looks nice. You know, it's got four little mounting ears so you can mount it up there, which we're gonna be doing. I actually have a little tape measure. I wanna check the extension on it while we've got it here, a little cheesy tape measure. My good one's inside, but heck, why not? So I was right at the edge of the table is where that started traveling. So we're gonna let it go all the way and we're gonna see exactly how far the travel is. About 40 inches. All right guys, so the next video, we're gonna be installing this. We're gonna be going over the different obstacles you're gonna have in your attic if you wanna do something like this. I'm gonna have links down in the description for this. And also in the next video, we're gonna have a lot of little miscellaneous items that you know, if you wanna buy those, I'll have links to them like Amazon links and you can find them.